Matt Shea, otherwise known as the world's greatest reporter, has just responded to Andrew Tate. He recently went on a podcast just a few days ago on May 9th with the critically acclaimed Helen Lewis. He said some very disingenuous and horrible things about Andrew Tate. He said a lot of stuff about Andrew Tate's private life and home, stuff that really sounds quite crazy and a bit ridiculous to be honest. But what's interesting about this is that this podcast was released on May 9th, which was after Matt Shea went round to Andrew Tate's house and got stuck outside the door for four hours. I've filmed all over the world in lots of crazy places. Nothing prepared me for how weird the Andrew Tate compound was. I mean, you walk in and there's six security guards with 007 shirts on. There's sort of women everywhere cleaning the same surface repeatedly. What I mean by that is it's, it's all for show. I mean, his name is emblazoned everywhere in LED lights. It felt like a kind of, I was walking into a reality show about Andrew Tate. He even talks uh, about choking women, beating women. Slap. Grab, choke, shut up, bitch, sex. These are the basic moves of a pimpin'. He just weaves everything in society from the COVID vaccine to tax laws as some kind of grand conspiracy against young men. The judicial system's corrupt, the medical system is corrupt, the financial system's corrupt, it's all corrupt. And crucially, the one person who holds the key to helping young men escape is me, Andrew Tate, and you have to pay me if you want to escape. When I made the documentary, which is Exposing a person in a group who are alleged of trafficking and raping women and also potentially teaching young men to do the same. And the first question everyone asks is, oh, but what about all the poor men? What about the crisis of masculinity? When clearly the majority of victims in this story are women. Here is the voice note Tate left for one of them. Am I a bad person? Because the, the more you didn't like it, the more I enjoyed it. Turn me on. Why am I like that? Why? Matt Shea spoke to some of Andrew Tate's biggest fans, men who had paid to attend a retreat he ran in Transylvania and to get beaten up in cage fights by martial arts experts. A lot of them had been hurt by women. A lot of them had gone through a messy divorce. But a lot of them simply lived ordinary lives, nine to five jobs, which they hated. And they had seen movies like The Matrix and Fight Club they were chasing this action hero version of being a man. As for me, I'm sorry, Andrew Tate, but like most women, I'd rather have a decent caring man than a shredded narcissist in a dressing gown. True alphas know how to work a washing machine. And where's the Manosphere guru for that? So it's interesting that he sort of doubled down on his old views, especially when just a few days before, Matt Shea was on the phone with Andrew talking about how he wanted to hear his side of the story and how he wants to make a new documentary about Andrew Tate where he shows both sides of himself and he shows them in a more positive light. I just try to report both sides of every story, so... Oh, you do both sides? Is that how you think you work? Yeah, that... Well, that includes your side as well. So, you know, it was obviously difficult to interview you while you were uh, in jail, now you're out, you know, we can actually have a chance to hear your side of things. So it's very interesting that just a few days after this, when he got rejected by Andrew, that he would go on this podcast and then immediately call him a misogynist and a sexist and this horrible evil man once again. But I thought I'd make this video because no one else seems to have noticed this. The podcast was released on May 9th. And don't be like Matt Shea, don't be a DNG. Give so Alex the chocolate! Just, you can't just, uh... You know, you can't just assume that if you're nice to someone that they're going to not betray you. I mean, they're, they're doing 